Um, so introduce yourself, Jasmine. Who are you? I, you're my financial coach. We're in the same, we have the same coach and mentor in Darius Daniels, and that's how we met. But who are you? <laughs> Hello, um, Jasmine Bundy. I'm the owner and lead facilitator of Kaizen Industries. Um, I coach people on financial wellness, um, career coaching, and I offer tons of workshops for individuals, organizations, um, and specifically also within strategic planning. Um, by, by trade, I've worked in higher education um, the last 10 years. So my natural calling is to teach. And so anything that I can do to help someone, um, you know, leave the partnership uh, better than they came in is always a goal of mine. I love it. And Fatima says, this is so powerful. Hey, Fatima, it's Fatima, right? Let me, if I'm saying that all the way wrong, girl, charge it to my head, not my heart. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. So uh, my name is Rika and I'm a certified NLP life coach and who I coach. Right. So this is what I do inside of Single You Academy. I guide women, professional single women in their 30s and 40s. I help you in a faith based way to stop the cycle of dysfunctional relationships. OK, I help you discover your worth so that you can stop tying your worth and identity to men. All right. Now let's get into this. So I asked you first, Jasmine, I'm like, so you're a financial coach, okay? And my clients are professional women, single professional mm. women. Okay. And when, when it comes to investing in themselves, they hesitate. They say they don't have the money. It's not in their budget, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but you got a whole, but you got a whole job and you paying for him. So I asked you, what are the five, the top five things that us professional women are spending our money on? Uh, besides men. Right, exactly. <laughs> besides yeah. men, we'll we, say. We're going to save men for last, but I forgot to set this up. So this is what I'm going <laughs> to do. I'm going to, um, shoot, I should have put it on a little, hold on one second. Because <laughs> I, I want you to be able to see it. So a lot of you who are in my um, single singleness is not a punishment Facebook group, and even on Instagram, you've seen my water ad, where I demonstrated you before you started dating, full of water, and how all you do is pour into men your whole life because you got to be married, and how that is leaving you empty. So now I'm going to use the same analogy with where you're spending your money, so I can show you how your money is keeping you in a cycle of dysfunction. So this is you, this is money. So let's say this is how much you make in a month, right? Okay, Jasmine is going to explain to you all the money <laughs> that you're spending on things that do not help you grow. And you say you wanna stop this cycle of being in a dysfunctional relationship, okay? So Jasmine, go ahead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 20 in right now for men. All the Xboxes you bought, the Jordans you bought, the rent you paid, the dinners that you, you want to go out on a date and you pay. Yeah, I remember those days. Girl, I used to give my ex money. I used to give him like $100 and be like, babe, take us out on a date. <laughs> she said, I, I didn't want him to not feel manly. So I used to think that was helping him feel like a man. Oh, okay. I get it now. All right. Yeah. No, but that's what a lot of... But a lot of people do that. Exactly. And, but that, but that's the that's like older generations used to do stuff like that too. Right. Where they would like slide it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So this is you. You get your 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 rent check. Your 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 um yeah. your check job. This is you, and this is all the men and the other stuff you're spending money on. Okay. All right, Jasmine. Top five things us professional all women right, are. Top spending. five things we do spend a lot of money on hair care. Whether it's the beauty supply products or going to the salon, obviously when stuff will shut down, you know, that was a little crazy for some people. Um, nails, the nail salon is still a big thing. Um, handbags, those metaphors bags and whatever the case may be. Um, I would say, uh, you know, eating out is a big one. That's another 50 because that's Uber Eats. Um, mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I will say, like, um, you know, with the, with the dining out piece, um, that probably catches you faster than, like, the other stuff. Um, and then, I mean, men, I, I feel like that one is, like, two in itself. Okay. Um, but, yeah, the, the handbags, the dining out, hair salon, nails. And then a lot of women are still doing these trips that we can't afford 
these girlfriend trips that we can't afford. Brunches, going to Tulum, because you want to be in Mexico, because you've been locked in your house forever. And now look, and you probably still spending money, putting it right. on your credit card, right. Right. To get things that you want because you deserve it. And we have to get out of the mindset of I deserve, right? Because what happens is we're using it just to um, justify expenses that are not necessities, right? 100%. So 100%. yes, I deserve, okay, register for a conference, professional development, a coach, but not necessarily spending this money that you do not see a return on investment for. Yeah. And, and don't say, I don't have the budget for it because you do. This is your budget. But look what you spent it on. And now you are stuck feeling heavy, um, unworthy, uh, feeling like you can never get the kind of relationship you want, feeling like there's something wrong with you because you spent all your money on things that don't actually help you grow. So what are you feeling like? Ooh, empty. empty. Is this resonating? Do you understand what we're trying to tell you? Because I'm going to show you a conversation um, that I had with a potential client. And this is thing, and listen, I have to um, <laughs> I have to watch my words sometimes because I'll be like, uh, I need to be a light. Jesus told me to be a light. I can be angry, do not sin, okay. But I need you because this is not, um, you are not on the phone right now. So I can just use a conversation that I had with somebody without feeling bad because she ain't here. And so I need you to help me make it make sense, okay? So Jasmine, you see this conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Where she is saying how she's stuck with this guy. She's in this cycle of dysfunction and she feels the need to constantly save him. Um, she really wants to stop this, but it's just difficult for her and she doesn't know why. She wants to do better um, because she knows better, but she's always pouring into this guy and she feels like, oh, I always have to mother him to pull him up to what I do. Mm. Because I'm already this professional woman. Yeah. And you also have to kiss his butt just to get an ounce of the love that you feel that you deserve. And she said, yep, I do ignore red flags sometimes. I shade it with potential because I think he can become who I want him to be. Mm. Okay. So that's the situation you're in, right? So then I say... So what have you tried to get out of this cycle of dysfunction, right? She's talked with her friends. Um, she, her advice from her married friends, her older sister, willpower, good intentions. I tell him exactly what I want, maybe even therapy. And this is not a knock on therapy. There's just different lanes. So it depends on your therapist or whatever. But in this lane of stopping the cycle of dysfunctional relationships, which is what I do for my clients, this is what you've tried to stop that. And she says, um, I really need to stop this, but it's just difficult for me and I don't know. And I said, so you feel like even the discussions with your cousins and your friends, there's still something missing. And she said, yes. So then we get to the investment. So I send her the information about Single You Academy. And she then says, oh my goodness, on Facebook. She then goes on to say, well, it's an interesting program, but it's really not in my budget. After she told me what her job was and I asked her, do you feel like you are financially stable? Do you feel like you got it together, but you keep allowing this man to treat you like crap? And she said, yes. So were you lying then or are you lying about your budget? Are you lying about being stable? Or are you lying about your budget? So where do we go from here then? If you're telling me you want to stop the cycle of dysfunctional relationships, but you're not willing to spend any money on yourself. Mm -hmm. Make it make sense, Jasmine. Make it make sense. And you know what? I think, and there's so many, and that's why I think it's important to understand your emotional relationship with money. But I think also the mindset of, do you want company? Mm. Or do you want a partner, right? Yeah. Because yeah. if you want company, that's going to cost you, right? If you want company, that's going to cost you money that you did not budget for. If you want a partner, you either you guys have either agreed on a 50-50 split or a 60-40 split based off who makes more than the other. 
And so I think we have to also think about that as well. Um, you know, when we joined our mentorship program, the first thing I did was take something out of my budget to replace it because I valued me first. Um, and I'm in a relationship now and I have a daughter. And so I was like, hey, this has to be a priority. How do I make all of these things work and still allow myself to thrive and prosper um, and still do well in all these other aspects of my life? Yeah. And so, again, it's like, OK, you get your paycheck every month at this nice job that you have. And instead of investing in yourself, because you say I didn't I don't make you guys come to me. You are always in my DMs. So I'm here to hold you accountable to the things that you say that you want. You say, how do I stop this cycle of dysfunctional relationship? Can you help me? And I'm like, absolutely. Here's the cost. Here's when we start. Da, 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 da. And then you go, oh, no. You know what's more important? Me spending money on him because he need a new Xbox. Oh, I got to get my hair did and my nails because my nail I can't be. I got to be cute. Oh, I got to get my hair braided. OK. Um, oh, you know what? That new Michael Kors bag is out. Wait a minute. Oh, and then you're like, Jasmine, you want to go eat on Saturday? Let's go do brunch. Let's go do that. <clears throat> and where you left? Who has all your money? And you're left feeling empty and then crying in my inbox. Right. And listen, I'm not here to say, hear me. I'm not here to say that I'm the only one who can help you do this. But there are two ways that you can change. It's either you figure it out on your own and you actually do extensive research and it's still going to cost you money with books. It's still going to cost you money or you can get some help. So what Jasmine and I did when we signed up for dare and you can speak for, for yourself. But what I'll say is this. I said, I know that there is somebody out there who knows the Bible and leadership better than I do. I've made it to this level, but now I need to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And so I paid. Remember, I asked myself, who is the woman do I want to become and how is my money going to help me get there? Yeah. And why did you join? Why did you start doing the work on yourself? The same thing. It was like, I want to go to the next level, right? I've been able to accomplish what I have been able to do, right? I was able to pay off the 20000 in a year's time. Um, and so what I would, I would say for all of you is also think about, you know, you have great jobs now or whatever, and you're making good money. But sometimes if you want something else, it's okay to pick up another job. Um, I picked up part-time teaching um, positions at the college um, and the U local university to be able to offset the things that were going to develop me, right? And so, hey, if I teach this one class, I can pay for a conference, I can pay for a mentor, I can invest in my company. Um, because when you have that security and you've taken yourself to the next level, the next person that's coming into your life is only adding value. They're not taking. And that's mm -hmm. what you want to move away from. But I had to ask myself, what is it that I want? How do I want my life to be different, right? Because now I'm at a space where I'm over 30. I'm reclaiming my time. And so yeah. I don't have time to waste, right? And so I had to go through my budget and be like, all right, I could cut my food budget down a little bit and just make sure I meal prep every week so that yep. I don't feel the difference, right? So there's yep. things you can do. And a lot of times we don't necessarily need to raise. We just need to budget and be intentional. And it's going to probably take you like three times of going through the budget before you're like, I finally got it. And that's okay. That's normal. Um, but you have to want it. Um, and we can't want it for you. Um, so think about where you want to be this time next year. Where do you want to be in three months? And that'll allow you to make a better decision that's going to take you further and faster. And also, where will you be in six months or a year if you don't do the work? Right. It costs you more when you wait. That Oh, that's that's the question right now. What is it costing you to stay in the cycle of dysfunctional relationships? 